worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. A pleasant morning to you out there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to another reflection. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we worship and adore you for the gift of life. We humble ourselves before you, Lord. Father, send your word to us expressly and let the truth of your word set us free. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The theme of our reflection this morning is Let Go and Live. And our Bible passage is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by Matthew chapter 19, verses 23 to 26. Then Jesus said to his disciples, As surely I say to you, that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. This is the word of the Lord. The theme again is let go and leave. The rich man in our text today came to Jesus with deep desire for eternal life. However, his lifestyle of relying on all that he possessed could not assist him to get his request from Jesus. He had great wealth which he could not let go. As found in Matthew chapter 19 verse 22. It is not a sin to be wealthy. Please let's take note of this. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says that the blessings of the Lord makes rich and he had no sorrow with it. There are so many things in the lives of many Christians today that are preventing them from successfully working with God. Sometimes our job, matrimonial home, business, richness, career, and other material things make it impossible for us to work perfectly with God. The question we need to answer with open mind are are the material blessings God has given us not obstructing our relationship with Him? Are they not making it impossible for us to obey God's single instruction on our Christian journey? Remember that the things God has given us are anticipated to make us worship Him the more and not to make it impossible for us to maintain steady and right relationship with God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 35, Apostle Paul asked, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? He answered the question in verses 38 and 39, that I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor past, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It is therefore sad and ungrateful on our part to see richness and wealth which God provided for us as what makes it impossible for us to serve him the more. Matthew chapter 19 verses 23 and 24. This is the reflection for today. Our memory verse is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by Matthew chapter 19 verse 21. Jesus said to him, If you want to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come Follow me. Let's take this prayer together. Lord God, grant me the grace to love you above everything I have, that I may worship you faithfully with all my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. As you set out today, I pray the grace of God will remain sufficient for us in the name of Jesus.